Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for all you new subscribers out there. I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. Will be another video uploaded later on today, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys hit the little notification bell, you guys will be notified when the video is uploaded later on today, probably around 8 p.m. So Hollywood Reporter has come out and reported on Josh Whedon no longer doing the Batgirl movie. He's no longer directing the Batgirl movie. In fact, Josh also came out and he tweeted saying that he's unable to crack a story. He's unable to crack Batgirl because God knows it's so complicated to crack a Batgirl story. And he failed. And he, I, oh, here's the thing. It's a bunch of bullshit and you guys shouldn't believe it. It's a bunch of bullshit and you guys should not believe it. I didn't do a video on this. But I'm pretty sure everybody who's watching this video already knows that it was reported that Zack Snyder was in fact fired from DC, Warner Brothers, and he didn't actually leave on his own terms. This, his daughter's suicide was basically just a story. It actually happened, and I'm sorry it happened, but it gave Warner Brothers the right opportunity to kind of cover up him being fired. So if you take the time frame in which that story broke, and when Josh Whedon came in, was going to be doing his Batgirl story, Things start to come out and you guys can kind of piece this thing together to where Josh was actually brought in to finish this Justice League movie. That That's the real reason he was in there. I have no doubt that maybe he came in and he had a pitch for a Batgirl movie. But once Z Snyder was removed from the DCEU, Josh was brought in to, to take Justice League and... Get, hit that release mark so all these stupid people at WB can get all their bonuses. Here is the problem with Josh leaving. Because I don't believe that he can't crack a code on Batgirl. This guy makes a living on making TV shows and stories on female heroes. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Dollhouse. Look what he did in Avengers with Black Widow and... Age of Ultron with both Black Widow again and Scarlet Witch. So I don't I don't want to hear that shit. I, I really don't want to hear it at all. They're the, the real reason I mean, if you are a fan of the DCEU, I am sorry for you. Like I am sorry. Like I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I am 100 percent sorry for you because every week something bad is happening over there in Warner Brothers. You just go and look at the list of all these directors that just quit. Because creative differences, creative differences. Like, at some point, you got to look at the writing on the wall and be like, something is not right over there. Something is not right over there. You have a team of idiots trying to run around and manage this corporation. I don't know how many of you guys are wrestling fans. I personally don't watch wrestling anymore, but I used to be a hardcore wrestling fan. Well, a few years back, they released a DVD called The Rise and Fall of WCW. And basically, it talks about the, the corporate people who own WCW that didn't know what to do with it. And they keep coming up with all these stupid ideas. When I think of DC, the DCEU and the Warner Brothers corporate executives over there, I think of the idiots who ran WCW. It's like they have these licenses, they have these properties, and ain't nobody know what the fuck to do with it. It took Eric Bischoff to come in and set sail until the course corporate started bumping their nose and this shit, and it went down to hell again, and, you know, WCW failed. Basically, what I'm saying is... DC and Warner Brothers needs their Eric Bischoff. They need their Kevin Feige. That's why Marvel Studios works so well. Marvel Studios was an established studio that they, they're, they're their own studio. And when Disney bought them, Disney just bought Marvel in the studio. So the studio is still in its own thing. It's not like Warner Brothers Studios. It's not like Disney Studios is making these Marvel movies. Marvel's is its own studio. Just like Lucasfilm and Pixar are their own studios. But the overall head of the, all the studios is Disney. And Warner Brothers needs to make a DC studio. And, and hire a group of people that is very knowledgeable about comics and let them do it. There are people out there that can easily do it. The, the, the guy who runs the CW superhero universe needs to that's the guy you need to bring in and i unfortunately i can't take credit for that idea because that was john schnepp's idea he mentioned it on i believe movie talk the other day but see 
The CW shows work so well. The CW team-up shows are better than the Justice League movie because you have someone who understands the characters and understands how to do storytelling with a live cinematic feel to it to where you have people in the higher ups of Warner Brothers that don't have a goddamn clue what the hell they're doing. They have basically all these toys, all these characters, and they're just throwing them up against the wall going, well, let's try this and let's try that. But no one's actually coming up with a plan. I guarantee you, I can come up with in, in two minutes a better plan than they have come up with since they started. Very simple. After Aquaman, scrap everything. You don't if, if you want if you don't want to reboot and you want to keep everything the way it is, fine. Add to Aquaman and Shazam because Shazam's already very far in production. I believe he's getting ready to film. Once that's over with, stop. And then you do this. Batman movie, Wonder Woman 2, Man of Steel 2. Then you do a Justice League 2. And then hopefully you get a better response. Then you start branching out in these other things. Stop doing this fucking Joker standalone movie. Harley Joker standalone movie. It's like you got 500 Joker movies in, 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 um, in development right now. No one cares about that. Focus on your cinematic universe. I, I promise you guys this isn't hard. This isn't hard. Any nerd that knows anything about a fucking comic book then these characters can come in and do this get someone like j michael sasinski you know look at his superman books his earth one superman books look at like you bring jeff johns in but i'm i'm pretty sure jeff johns is coming in just kind of as a assultant you know or a consultant rather you know, he's just going in like yeah this this and this but no one listens to him you know it's almost like when you had Dusty Rhodes who took over for WCW when the Turner reps and everybody, no one listened to Dusty. They're like, oh, you're a wrestling guy. You're stupid. They're looking at they, these Warner Brothers execs are looking at Jeff Johns like, oh, this guy writes complex. What the hell does he know about movies? That is the mentality of these people over there. And having Josh leave is not a good sign. Not a good sign. Because this is a guy, whether you like it or not, Avengers made a shitload of money. And Avengers was extremely successful. A lot of people don't like Age of Ultron. I personally love Age of Ultron. I don't get what the hype is. Is it better than Avengers? No, but it's still a really good movie. This guy did Avengers 1 and Avengers 2. And he done so many things in the TV world. It's insane. And to have people like Ben Affleck, who was supposed to write and direct Batman, that's not happening. Then you have Josh, who's supposed to do Batgirl. That's not happening. David Ayer was supposed to do Suicide Squad 2. That's not happening. 500 different directors were supposed to do Flash. That's not happening. Side, well, it's happening, but now it's happening with the people who are doing um, Game Night. So some, some new directors there. And then we got, you know, Gotham City Sirens and all. There's so much shit going on. And that's because... Warner Brothers, the corporation, the execs don't know what they're doing. And until they get their Eric Bischoff, their Kevin Feige, they're going to run into this problem. And personally, if it was me, if it was me, I would say, Josh, come here. Come here, buddy, come here. Here are the keys to the DCEU. Go to town. Because you know why? I guarantee you he would have that. It might take a few years, but if they would let him do stuff, it would work. The problem is, Warner Brothers, every goddamn week, they're announcing a new type of movie. I don't know why. It's like, are they trying to get people excited or what? Because every movie they announce just makes me even less excited about the DCEU. You know what would make me excited? Superman! Make a Superman movie! Make a Superman movie with Brainiac! The fucking trailer for Krypton looks better than anything I've seen coming out of the DCEU. And for a movie like Black Panther, in four days, make more money than Justice League did, and its entire domestic run is a huge red fucking flag, and if you guys are blind and you can't see that, then there's nothing I can do to help you guys. But Josh Whedon is a bad thing, and I guarantee that it was just a cover-up for him to come in and take over for what Snyder was doing, because these, or Warner Brothers and DCEU let him go. I'm going to leave it at that. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate from the DCEU fans. Look, 
I like DCEU. I'm a huge fan of Wonder Woman. Man of Steel really grew on me. And I liked Suicide Squad. I'm sorry. I can't help it. But there's, there's clear writing on the wall that things aren't good over there. And, it, I mean, it is what it is, guys. So I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Hit that like. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, guys. That way you guys can be up to date on all content. I'm going to be releasing another video later on today around 8 p.m. And it's going to be about Marvel's fresh start. So I went off on the DCEU. Now let's jump and start ranting on the Marvel comics because that's a joke too. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, guys, I'm Robert Storms. And as always, that's my opinion.